Hey you guys, starting off a new vlog. I'm heading over to hang out with my mom. We have been watching old seasons of Love Island <laughs> and I have never watched Love Island before. Is there an American one? I don't know. I, it's all it's all confusing to me. If you can give me some tea on Love Island and like the best ones to watch, etc., let me know. We're watching, I think it's Love Island UK. I got my nails done this morning. This is called Don't Bossa Nova Me Around from OPI. It's a really pretty like light purpley taupey color. Sometimes I still look in the mirror and I'm just like, oh, my hair is red. <laughs> I really do love it though. I hope it sticks with me for a while. I hope I don't get sick of it because I actually really like it and I think it actually suits me very well. All right, let this person go. Go ahead. This is your sign to let someone go in traffic today. And if they don't wave back, that's okay because you did it to be a good person, not to get a reward back. But let someone go in traffic today. Maybe they're having a bad day. I saw this video um, on probably TikTok, where else? Just about like people who will cut you off in traffic or honk at you or just like do something, you know, not so wonderful. We'll let this person go too. Uh, and you know, this guy was like, you just never know what people are going through. Like that person could have just had someone pass away. That person could have just gotten fired. That person could be really late to go pick up their child from daycare. And you know, like there's just, there's so many things that we just don't know. Um, and that's why I just think it's really important to push for kindness no matter what. You know, granted we get frustrated and it happens. Like no one's perfect, but I think I just think the world would be a better place if we were all just like more understanding, you know, like everyone goes through stuff. Everyone, everyone struggles, you know, but my mom has a day off today. She is really liking her new job so far. It's finally cooled down today. We had thunderstorms yesterday. It's finally started to cool down because, oh my gosh, literally it has been like 95, 100 and just so humid, like just thick. But anyway, it's cooled down. I mean, it's 80, but it's like less humid. It's a little bit better. Many hours later. All right, I'm back home just playing with Brew. Um, but I'm really excited because they're going to come put the doors on the cabinets in the pantry so we can do like a final, final reveal. I'm so excited. So they should be here any second and then I'll show you guys. Okay, we've got doors on the pantry. So exciting. We are going to buy the handles that we have um, out in our kitchen that are matte black to match, but it's so nice to have doors. Yay, the pantry, I love it so much. It doesn't even feel like the same room. All right, so Yarman desperately wants me to try one episode of Game of Thrones because he got me into, I wasn't expecting to like a lot of shows that he put me on to i.e. Stranger Things. What else did you have me watch besides Stranger Things? You got me into a lot of good shows. Because you were a lot into sitcoms and reality. TV. And funny. Funny, and funny or stuff, sitcoms. Like lighthearted stuff, right? Yeah. And then now you're watching a lot of dramas. Yeah, you got um, me into dramas. Like now I watch, even on my own, I watch a lot of drama. So I think you go like, oh, Westworld. I want to... Oh, I, I heard Westworld that. is good. I haven't finished it. I watched the first season on that we should watch that too and that was pretty interesting but anyways game of thrones if you can get past the gory stuff like the blood and all that you've already watched right? it and you liked it so much you want to watch it again i watched the entire thing with you hands down so can no you problem. tell me when there's going to be like a gory scene if i remember it but it's i guess just, it's obvious right it's the it's the politics it's the drama it's it's the story yeah. That gets me hooked. It's not about the action. It's the story and the different Everyone type, loves and the it. different families. Like, you just... If you can get past that... Oh, oh man. It's so good. All right. Let's try it. I'm going to give it one episode and report back. All right. So, we just watched the first episode. This came out, like, over a decade ago. So, if, if I'm spoiling this, I don't, I don't know what to say. Spoiler alert, maybe. So the first episode, right? So the first episode of everything is never like always like amazing. I'm immediately overwhelmed because there's so many different like groups and stuff. But I'm in, I'm intrigued enough where I'm like down to watch another one. 
Yarman told me, and I got this on camera, if I watch the first season, he'll watch anything with me for a whole season, no questions asked. And I'm like, I'm trying to watch The Real Housewives with you. I'm getting through the first season whether I like it or not. But I think there's potential for me to like it, so I'll keep you guys posted. If you watch Game of Thrones, I'll watch The Real Housewives. I'm excited. Good morning. I'm going to get an eye exam and I literally put in my daily contacts and then like an hour later I was like, oh, I have to wear my glasses when I get an eye exam. I only have like a week's left of my daily contacts and I wasted a pair. I'm really hoping and praying I can get some contacts quick. I'm going to a new eye doctor and I don't know how how this gonna work. I'm wearing a t-shirt from the Classy Network with the built-in bra. It is so comfortable. I'm gonna link it. You guys need it. And it's got a pretty good size range. Um, and oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. Many hours later. Alex, why are you in a U-Haul truck? We're moving. <laughs> I'm kidding. We had our garage floors epoxied. So um, we had to put everything from the garage in a U-Haul truck for a few days because stuff can't go on it and we have a lot of heavy gym stuff in here. So now that it's been a few days and it's all set, we are putting everything back. House projects are fun. How you doing? <laughs> How much have you picked up and put down today? You pick things up and put them down. But it was a good excuse to kind of clean everything because everything got a little dusty. Here are the floors. They're really pretty actually. They did a really good job. So we're just kind of figuring out our setup and yeah, it looks good so far. We're gonna put the cabinet back here and then we have this all lined up. Got the rower. All right, we just put in the cabinet. Looks good, yes. Also FYI, the Peloton is in the basement, but I really miss having an elliptical. We had an elliptical in our old house, but because um, the floor, like the, the house was very old and creaky. So when we had the elliptical, it was just like clunky. It was used. So I, I really do miss having an elliptical though. I've been doing like strength training, but there's just something about like doing some good old fashioned cardio on the elliptical and like watching YouTube videos. Oh my gosh, we're sweating. We love a handyman. <laughs> Looks good actually. That really did. That really did something. Yeah, it like it makes it look so fresh. Good morning. I just did a treadmill workout. I'm sweating. Um, I took off a couple days from vlogging. I posted um, a really important video that was on my heart for a while, and I've just been kind of like digesting and you know taking some time for me. But thank you guys for the support on that video. It meant the world. Uh, so I just worked out and. I want to try to make protein coffee because I've hear I've heard a lot of people say that it's really good. So I got some caramel um, Fairlife protein shakes, the ones that I really like, the chocolate. So I didn't know they made caramel ones. So I want to try it and let you guys know if it's good. Okay, so I got like a variety pack of Fairlife on Amazon. It only came with one, <laughs> like one of the strawberry and one of the caramel. So at least we don't have a bunch if we don't like it. But I'm gonna just add it like as a creamer instead of creamer. Of course though, I had to put some of my sugar-free caramel <laughs> in the coffee per use. And then this is the one that I like, the blonde roast cold brew. All right, I really hope I like this. Let's try it. I don't know how much to put here, but then you can just like keep it in your fridge as a creamer. Let's try it. Cheers. pretty good. I don't hate that. All right, well, protein coffee. Are you guys playing? Are you playing with your cousin? Well, wait, how would that work? What, is that so shit? Is that, does he just have brown fur on yeah, brown fur. Oh it's brown fur. It's brown fur. That looks like someone took diarrhea and smeared it all over his Yeah, there's a brown little booty. Who's got a brown booty? Got a brown booty. Who's got a brown booty? Good morning, you guys. No Bruno with me today. I am gonna grab some Starbucks and then I'm actually gonna go hang out with my friend today we are gonna go to Primark so I'm really excited I haven't been to Primark and I want to say like over a year and I'm sure the fall stuff is out so I'm really excited to see if there's anything good 
and yeah so we're gonna go and check it out and just have a little girls day i don't know how much i'll vlog but i thought i would just check in um i've been vlogging just super super sporadically the last like week just kind of picking up the camera when i feel like it <laughs> so um okay so i want to update on the hair situation so with my hair right now it's like it looks different in different lights like i like the way it looks in this light you know it's it looks like a dark brownish red right but because my ends were much more blonde and more porous they are like a lot more of a bright red even though i did fill it first i just think naturally it might take a few rounds of dyeing it for the color to really cling and i've only washed my hair once so i you know after you dye your hair especially going from like a light color to a dark color i try to hold on as long as i can to really make sure the color is like clinging in there i don't know if it helps all that much but i feel like it does so um i do think i'm gonna dye it again and you know right now I love the way it looks but if I took it down and like showed you it in like the sunlight it's like red like bright red and it's already faded a lot at the ends just from washing it once so it's really the ends that I'm concerned about um but I do want it to be more like this or even just a little bit more brown like my vision was a brownish red like a rich brown mahogany not so red <laughs> so i do like the red and we're sticking with a red vibe but at some point i do think i'm going to like darken it up a little bit but you know i'm going to the beach with my mom in a few days and we haven't been to the beach in like weeks because it's just been like so hot <laughs> so i do think maybe i should wait to do it you know until after just in case it lightens up more from the sun or from swimming and then having to wash it so I don't know but I'm also like do I have the patience because like I don't like wearing my hair down right now because the ends are just so bright red <laughs> so I just don't know we'll see we'll see where the journey takes us but uh yeah I'm very excited to go check out Primark oh my gosh they have really cute stuff in the home section got stuff to try on All right, y'all, we did good. I'll do a little haul when we get home. Okay, I just got home. There's some groceries that have to be put away, but I thought I would show you guys what I picked up at Primark. Um, I forgot what a steal. <laughs> what a steal everything there is. And I don't think they had like all their fall stuff out, but definitely a really good start. So I picked up some shoes. So they only had these in an 11, so they're a little bit big, but they're so cute. Um, I figured I can just wear, I mean, it, it doesn't really even matter that they're big, like they didn't slip around or anything, but if I would wear like a thick sock, um, I just love these and they were like $18 <laughs> with that really cute, chunky, kind of asymmetrical heel. So, so beautiful. And then I grabbed these loafers. These are really high quality. These were also, only $18 and I'm telling you they are super heavy and thick those first ones were wide width they actually do have some wide width uh, shoes which is always really exciting but I feel like even their standard shoes are not like super duper narrow but these are so cute with the gold little chain buckle and then I got these cute little cloth slides these were seven dollars um, they have like a stretchy cloth knit material up here and they're just really comfortable a nice little day-to-day -day slide my favorite archie's thong sandals that i wear every day broke which was so sad um but i feel like i could wear those on the day-to-day -day. you know that one pair of sandals that you have is like your favorite pair of sandals uh, i grabbed a tank top for sleeping in this really pretty kind of grayish color um i grabbed this sleep top five dollars really soft ribbed fabric i grabbed this cable knit kind of oversized boxy sweater really soft it's kind of a chenille fabric then i grabbed these ribbed flare pants which i feel like you could totally dress up or just wear them as lounge pants 
they're really really comfortable and really thick like they feel a lot of the stuff there my friend and i noticed felt like skims vibes like a few bodysuits the bodysuit didn't fit me right my torso is kind of long it just felt a little short a little tight on the coat i got this adorable graphic sweater it says joyful really cozy and cute $16 I got this pack of hair ties just because it has silk scrunchies which is what I like to sleep in this gorgeous white waffle robe was $15 and it's such a nice robe like it's giving hotel um most of the time in Primark I'll get an XL they go up to an XL slash 16 and some things are they have in 2XL but a lot of their stuff runs on the bigger side just for reference um and then they had these like sculpting tanks which also were like majorly giving skims vibes and I'm just a sucker for like ribbed fabrics but like it reminds me a lot of skims it's like stretchy it will kind of suck you in a little bit but it's just a nice elevated basic this was only four dollars and then i got this little summery dress just for the rest of summer um it's a really nice fabric it's just a little mini dress it doesn't look like much but it's really cute when you put it on it's 13 dollars. i don't know see like this is a size 14 and like it runs big so um it's one of those places you really have to like go and poke around try things on but overall a very successful shopping trip but i think i have enough footage where this is a vlog now so i'm gonna end it i know it was all over the place but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i love you so much i'll see you guys again soon bye